I've experienced suicide through the death of my son, which was uh, 10 years ago now. I, I've also uh, recently experienced my husband's family have lost two young guys in the last few months also. Um, and over the years, I've also known a lot of people um, who, have, who have suicided. So I've actually had quite a, quite a bit of experience. Prior to it happening, um, I find it difficult to get my son help and I find myself sort of caught in, I don't know, it's like he fell through the cracks a bit. He, he was too old um, to be, you know, he wasn't like nine years old, but he was 12 or 13 years old, which seemingly wasn't young enough to get the help. And he wasn't old enough to do things for himself. And then, so it was very, very difficult to, to find appropriate help very difficult to overcome those kind of challenges um, because the system is a system and uh, I mean I, all I can say is that um, since my, my son suicided I've been able to get help through organizations um, like Mosh and um, Living Beyond Suicide and um, you know talk out, talk out Loud which is for young people I mean I in a way I wish I had known about them earlier on in the piece because I think my son would have had more help. But at that time, I didn't know until after the fact that uh, you know I could I could use those those things. It was very comforting to meet other people that had had the experience, and you know you got people of all different um, levels in the sense of some people have been bereaved a long time and had found coping mechanisms for that and other people had only just it had only just happened and so they were at a very beginning of the grief and I think just to see how people had evolved over time uh, was a good thing to know that, that that it changed and got better at the time my daughter was 12 13 at the time so I still I still had her to look after and to care for so that was kind of my main priority at that time uh, but also just being part of events and organizations and things that that dealt with suicide it just it was just helpful and comforting listening listening is very important um, not being judgmental or um, I mean I think grief is judged a lot and your your style of grief is judged and you're supposed to be a certain way and for everybody it's completely different and I would just say that um, allow people to grieve in their own way and however way that they think is appropriate.